Prosperity at home, peace throughout the world, that is what we experienced under President Trump. Wages were rising, investment returned to America, police were cherished, our military restored. We spent our time dreaming about the possible and making good things happen in our lives, growing families, buying homes, retiring with fat 401ks. Sure, there was a mean tweet now and again, I kind of like those too. Sometimes we really do forget about all of the accomplishments of the Trump administration, the tax cuts and jobs act, securing the border, right to try for the ill, veteran choice. President Trump rewrote NAFTA for the American worker and put us in a position of energy dominance. I don't always remember all the things that happened in such a short period of time. But I remember how I felt during the Trump presidency, how we all felt. A nation of full hearts, big dreams, and endless ambition to win. Winning so much, we get tired of it. Now we got Joe Biden. He ain't tired of winning. He's just tired. Looks like he gets tired breathing. You see him sit there sometime with his mouth agape, just like... Last time I saw that, it was Robert Mueller. We all knew he lost a little off his fastball. Compare what we had to our diminished America today. We are poorer, sicker, deeper in debt, and overrun by illegal aliens. How can people be turned off by mean tweets but think that political prosecutions are okay? Once we had one of America's great families in the White House, the Trumps. Now we've got transsexual influencers wandering around the West Wing. Sometimes they even get jobs. Remember that dude in heels who used to steal everybody's luggage? That was like an actual thing. We're not going to have dudes in heels in the White House anymore. Now, that's I mean, think about it. We went from a Ivanka Trump in the White House to that weird thing in the heels. Home ownership has become a mirage for millennials and Zoomers alike. The average mortgage parent payment in America today is around $2,800. Who can afford that with the price of fuel and groceries and all of the things that Joe Biden has made more expensive? It's no surprise then that we are seeing more delinquencies and more home foreclosures than at any other time in the last decade. In the Trump economy, we could actually afford to buy homes. President Trump understands the value of a home, and that's why he invites everyone to his home as a host and as a great leader. Under Trump, we could build more, grow more, and have more. The left wants us to have less. It used to just be fewer guns they wanted us to have, now it's fewer goals. You know, they want to turn everything in this country on its head. And they think we should have a smaller house, less money, a smaller family, if people can even afford to get married and have a family anymore. They want to turn your cheeseburger into a bug patty with compressed seed oils, and they want to make the greatest country that has ever existed weak and lonely and trans all at once. You see, President Trump is a builder, and that which is built in steel and concrete must first be built with a vision in the mind. Vision and energy and productivity are certainly more patriotic than laundering Chinese bribe money to your family members. So we must bring these Biden voters that we know out of the brain fog that they are in believing that they only deserve the diminished America that has been provided by Joe Biden. The Democrats are the party of high prices, high taxes, and low team. Is a party even trying to win an election anymore if their standard bearer just soiled his pants at a D-Day memorial? We are the proud party, and they are ashamed. 
What else explains the left's self-defeating embrace of the DEI agenda? DEI is an order form for people, not about good or qualified or credentialed or talented, just immutable characteristics, that which you cannot change. Are you black, white, Muslim, gay? I don't care if it's politically correct or not. I will never come off the proposition that I learned from reading Martin Luther King Jr. in school. We will judge people not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. How many left-handed lesbians do you need? Have you had enough women of color on your board? Have you hired enough illegal immigrants lately? You know what? America isn't a slave auction. We cannot hire and promote and pay people based on the skin color or the traits they cannot change. We must hire and promote and pay based on merits and merits alone. different than a fentanyl dealer, because they are both selling a poison into our communities, disguised as pain relief. Everything will be okay if we just use this, not realizing the damage it does to our social fabric. DEI has no role in our society. We must drive it out of corporate boardrooms, out of our military, and we ought to drive anybody out of Congress who believes in this racist garbage.